tool changer is working. The commands are not uh, corresponding with the numbers on it though, so not sure why. And the limit switches are being triggered. So there's some fishy stuff going on there, but it's working. Currently we're moving the motor, which is a retrofit. So is this, it looks like. It's a treadmill motor. The reason for the broken brushes are the, the armature. I think it's called. Someone mentioned it in the comments too. And uh, there's some loose bits there and they cut off the brush or broke the brushes. Already ordered a new one. We're going to be operational as soon as we get that new motor and the new stepper motor, which is also ordered. Here's what's failed. I'm not quite sure why or how this has happened, but uh, this thing has uh, come loose and uh, started eating brushes and uh, the windings are, are burnt and uh, yeah, it's probably scrap. I can't see a simple way to save this. As you may have noticed, I'm doing some cleaning and uh, trying to rearrange things here to make room and make this space a little bit less pain to work in. And I found this, which I got from uh, George McMurray a while back. Here's George on the salt with his bike, his record bike, APSBF, blown fuel, partial streamlining, 125cc. And George gave me this, the Two Stroke Tuner's Handbook by Jennings, which is really cool. So uh, I gotta find a place for this stuff, like to remember that I have it. Thanks George, thanks a lot. Hope I see you on Salt next year. Not tidy by anyone's standards, but um, I know where everything is, so that's good. Um, and there's no big plating setup in the middle here. There's room for the machine. I finally moved the 3D printer into the corner there, not here. So there's still stuff like sorting of a bunch of bolts and stuff here. And um, and there's some crap over there. And also on the dyno, I have to clean up this area. Some crap under there, like half a scooter, which I will never use parts from, I'm sure, but it's not easy throwing things away because you never know. <laughs> Order. Finally, my uh, honing pressure plates arrived from uh, Forest Carroll, Shiro Fab Machine Works, shirofab.com. There's a link in the description. Thank you, Forest. We're ready for honing, taking this to size. And after that, we'll drill the set screw hole in the piston, what keeps it from rotating. And we're basically ready for, uh, for another test run with the new 0.5 millimeter flat ring with that that pinhole in it. Really exciting. Let's get cracking.
Most expensive and overbuilt printer ever. I'm pretty sure I told it to write subscribe though, which means it probably doesn't see me as its master yet. Kind of worrying. With the pressure plate mounted, there's actually a difference here, 0.01 millimeters tighter. So when I hold it now, it should be rounder than when I hold it before. That's good. What's interesting now is that it seems like the whole thing has distorted in a way that's actually made it rounder, so there's not much difference at all from the top to the bottom now. Before these plates on there, I measured about 0.02 millimeter difference, like a taper, uh, between the bottom and the top. But now that taper is gone, so now it's basically with the plates on, just hone, hone out another 0.05 millimeters, and it should fit that piston perfectly. Because this is 39.85 millimeter at the skirt. The bore will be 39.9 millimeters. I got this small bottle of uh, casting sealer from Mark Ericsson. Now Mark Ericsson builds large racing two-stroke engines and he's really good at honing and he just released a video about honing. Two strokes is really the right way to do it. You never catch a port, you never snag it. Much better finish. So I'd be doing it with my new profilometer. You can use this style brush. All cracked pieces of cast iron from the home. If you guys need any of this work done, feel free to hit us up. Instead of watching me with my limited experience and uh, subpar tools, go watch that video, the whole video. Really good, really good information about honing. Thank you, Mark. Ericsson Machine Performance. There's a link in the description. Go watch that honing video. It's really good. It is a little bit tight, like in the middle there, so there's there's kind of this barrel shape. It seems to be a slight bit tighter now without those uh, plates on. It is consistently 0.01 millimeters tighter without the plates, all over. Which is kind of odd, but... That's just how it is, maybe with the geometry in here and stuff, it's kind of those bolts there and the compression, maybe pinches stuff together. Seems impossible, really, but that's how it is. It is a slight bit tight. Now in the middle, I, I will have to hone it a little bit more. Um, let's just oil the piston. I'm always getting comments saying I should oil 
stuff and I do it's just that I don't always show it so there's this there's this tight spot in the middle let's see if any of these other pistons are smaller well, that's actually tighter That's looser. That's that's borderline okayish. <laughs> borderline okayish. It's just that that tight spot in there. I will have to try to focus the honing in the middle. Not easy with a uh, with the long stones, but I'll I'll give it a try. It's better if it's a bit loose. Like on the top and bottom and okay in the middle then tight in the middle because then it will pinch there and you don't want pinching it's getting late i think i'll call it quits for now next up is the terrifying task of uh, drilling a hole and uh, tapping uh, for a grub screw in the piston to keep it from rotating while it's running the gap here the clearance for the ring, I think I'm gonna um, I'm gonna set it to about about uh, between one thousandth of an inch for you imperial people uh, and two thousandths, so um, around 0 0.05 millimeters clearance for the ring. I I don't want to run it too tight. I know you can run it tighter on. Um, on racing stuff but too tight and with a little bit of movement here it is easier for the ring to get pinched and you lose compression or worse so uh, we'll start off with um, 0 0.05 millimeters clearance there thanks for watching see you next time